Dear Misty, I'm a woman and I'm engaged to a man. A wonderful and beautiful man. But I have a secret. I have been fantasizing about women. I don't want to be in a relationship with a woman. I can't see myself dating a woman. But I often fantasize about women. Does this make me bisexual? My answer for you is very simple. It makes you human. It makes you normal. You know, it's kind of the opposite of what society has ingrained into our brains and into our minds. The straight men, the homophobic men, and general society makes people think that you're not normal if you have temptation. You're not normal if you think these thoughts. You're not normal if you are not quote-unquote normal. By the way, they are wrong. If you ever watched the movie Kinsey, Dr. Kinsey did a thing called the Kinsey Scale. And his theory, I think, is a very good theory in that nobody is 100% anything. Nobody is 100% gay and nobody is 100% straight. There's a line. And all of us as human beings in nature and in humanity fall between that line. And some people are smack dab in the middle and some people are pretty far to one side or the other. I used to think that I was 100% gay. And I am gay. I'm very gay. I'm attracted to men. In fact, I would say I'm strictly dickly. But I have experimented with girls and played around. Usually, I'm not completely sober. Or it's just, you know, we're bored and just want to have fun. <laughs> I don't know. I've never actually had sex with a girl. But I have done things that I never would have ever thought that I would do. For example, once in a hot tub on a 4th of July... my hands went places I never thought they would go. And that's all I'm going to say. And now I can say that I've done it before. And I'm not ashamed of it. It doesn't make me bisexual. It just makes me human because I'm curious. And I wanted to see what it was like to feel certain things inside another person. And it's normal. The fact that you're having fantasies is normal. It's normal for people to be curious. And these homophobic men that are like, oh, I would never do that. They're right. They probably never would. But the reason they're freaking out and telling you that they never would is because they have been tempted and they are afraid of that temptation. And therefore, they're trying to overcompensate by throwing out their masculinity and telling you, oh, that, I would never do that queer shit. You know, homophobia is the fear of being homosexual. Now, my advice to you on what you should do... <sighs> you're engaged to this man. I think that before you actually get married, it might be wise to turn some of those fantasies into reality. Now, I don't know how open-minded he is, but a lot of men have had fantasies of being with two women. It's a very normal fantasy, and a lot of girls do it. Even though they're not bisexual, they're just trying to please their man. And it's very common for two girls to be intimate with each other and stay straight. And be straight. They're just doing it because it's fun. I've and watched I lesbian porn. And I've seen lesbian porn directed by women, and I've seen lesbian porn directed by men. And they're very different. Lesbian porn directed by women is very soft, and very sensual, and very intimate, and very seductive. And that's how I see in my brain women having intimacies. Granted, there are butcher girls... And they might be more dominant and more aggressive. I mean, again, nobody's 100% anything. There's many colors in our rainbow. And I can only imagine that what you're fantasizing about is that sensitive, that seductive touch. Because a lot of men aren't capable of doing that. And it, I think it's normal that you are considering these things. 
and maybe he would want to explore that with you. Maybe you should go to a spa retreat somewhere with a bunch of your girlfriends and experiment. And I think it's definitely something that you should do before it's too late. Not that you're getting married, it'll be too late, but it's something you should do before you grow old and you're like, I never did that, I've always wanted to do that. You know, you only live once. And don't you want to look back and say, oh, I've had a full life. I fulfilled all my desires. And I think that you should definitely see what it's like. Otherwise, you'll always be wondering what you're missing. You know? And I don't know your moralistic background, but if you don't want to cheat on your husband, I would do it before you get married. Anyways, that was an Ask Misty. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.